So today at Hardware Pioneers 2022, I'm with Digi and today we have Joe Hill. You've got some different products here that look like they might be great for makers. So if you, give a, if you could give us a rundown on what these are and what they do. Indeed, yes. Yeah. So these are our uh, XB modules. Uh, we're offering different uh, protocols and form factors. For example, here we've got our NBIT CAT-M device, which is very useful for low power, low bandwidth networks, very useful for battery powered sensor networks. Mm -hmm. We have one of our 3G modules and also we now have a 4G module uh, coming soon. The next generation devices also support GNSS for time stamping and positioning, but also Bluetooth low energy for commissioning and sensor integration as well, wireless sensor, in sensor integration. So are these boards programmed specifically or is it something that you communicate with over AT commands? Uh, so they can be uh, standalone. Uh, so they can work as a self-contained unit, but they also do have an external UART interface where they can connect over AT commands. Oh, that's quite useful then, yeah. So a lot of customers will take this if they've got an existing infrastructure or an existing wired solution where they want to add that cellular connectivity directly uh, to the device. Um, we also offer a number of differing protocols, 2.4 gigahertz and sub gigahertz, for local area networks that don't require a direct IP connection, mm -hmm. but we also offer a number of gateway products that allow you to get that sensor uh, network data from your local network into the IP domain into a cloud instance as well. And, and just to refresh my, my memory, uh, is, Lo is LoRa one of those networks that's supported? Indeed, yes. So our next generation of LoRa device, um, we acquired a company recently called Haxiot, um, and we will integrate uh, the LoRa WAN module in the same footprint, so they will be both software and hardware compatible with our cellular long-range and short-range devices that we have today. Foot, uh, footprint compatible? Indeed, yes. Oh, fantastic. Now, speaking of footprints, you showed me something earlier on that I thought that was quite uh, fascinating with your different uh, ranges of the same module but being brought out onto different pack uh, onto like different form factors. Indeed. So do you think we can have a quick look at one of these yeah, now? Sure. Yeah, sure, let's go around, yep, yeah, sure. So here we have our micromount form factor. Um, this. Uh, contains all of the capability I mentioned. This is actually a 2.4 gigahertz device. This can support uh, Zigbee or proprietary DigiMesh solution or 802.15.4. This comes with a Bluetooth low energy capability and also a micro Python engine for edge compute. Then we have our surface mount solution which actually contains one of our micro mount modules but in the surface mount carrier and allows backwards compatibility with series one and series two devices and then we have our through hole device as well this one is one of our cellular solutions with through hole capability and again offering bluetooth or energy and micro python support directly on the module and one thing you told me earlier on uh, was that all of these could be designed as a singular footprint that would allow a maker to either put that on, this on, or that on. Indeed, yes. Yeah. So the, you can effectively concatenate or you can nest uh, the devices. So all of the connections from the micro mount device will come out to the surface mount and then up to the through hole device. So if you have PCB space available, um, and in terms of the supply constraints that we're seeing across the market, this gives you uh, many options of not only differing form factors, but differing compatible protocols as well. And I suppose that also means that if, if, if a customer is struggling to get a supply of one type of module, they can always switch over to another Absolutely. one and it should yeah. still fit. Yeah. So one more question I have for you is, if you're a maker today and you want to get into this kind of stuff, what's the advice that you'd give to them if they were to use Digi equipment? Yeah, so we have um, free of charge tools. Um, we also have low cost development kits. For example, we've got one here, which is our Digi uh, XB development kit for XB. Uh, this is a $99 kit, so you come with three uh, three development kits, antennas, um, modules, and your USB connectivity. And we have um, a free tool that allows you to not only set up the device, but also interrogate its performance across the network and be able to give you a starting point into developing your proof of concept. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to speak to us today. Thank you very much. Thank you.